Hi everyone. How's it going today? I hope you're all doing well and feeling good. It's always a pleasure to have you with me on my channel. As usual, I will discuss some topics that you might like. I understand that the quality of this video might not be the best, but I hope that the content is still understandable and informative. If you're interested in learning more, I also have a Telegram channel where I share various information that I can't post here. And make sure to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel in case of unforeseen events. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. Jojo Siwa is a classic case of a child star who grew up in the spotlight while manipulated by exploitative adults. At every step of the way, she had to put on a big smile while participating in toxic, cringy projects whose awfulness has yet to be fully exposed. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if a full-length documentary named The Dark Side of Jojo gets released in the next few years. Because, seriously, her whole career has been drenched with weirdness and behind-the-scenes rumors since its very start. Siwa's career began at age 12 as a participant in the reality show Dance Moms. And, looking back, that thing was ridiculous. The show Dance Moms is summed up in one picture. Abby Lee Miller, accused of being toxic and abusive, angrily points at young Jojo Siwa while wearing an outfit she probably shouldn't be wearing. While the show was popular with little girls and their mothers, Dance Moms also seemed to cater to another demographic. Vile, disgusting <laughs> This is from Wikipedia. Several episodes featured controversial costume choices made by Miller. Due to heavy criticism, the season 2 episode Topless Showgirls, which aired on March 6, 2012, has been removed from rotation. The episode features the young dancers performing a burlesque-style routine and wearing sequined flesh-toned bra tops and tights in an effort to make them appear nude. Yes, you've heard correctly. An episode of this show, which featured 12-year-old girls, revolved around the theme of Topless Showgirls. Several other episodes were as upsetting. In another episode, Jojo performed a dance routine inspired by Carrie. In this 1976 horror movie, a high school prom queen is drenched in pig blood. Then, she massacres her entire school using her supernatural witch-like powers. Jojo claimed she had never watched that movie, but this wasn't about her. It was about her insane, occult-minded industry handlers. A few years later, Jojo Siwa became a star in her own right. After signing with Nickelodeon, her popularity was converted into a highly marketable brand that released pop songs, a full-length movie, and various products, including some very unfortunate products. In June 2019, the FDA issued a warning about dangerous levels of asbestos in a JoJo Siwa-branded cosmetics kit, prompting Claire's to recall the product. In January 2021, the board game JoJo's Juice, marketed for children aged 6 and above, was withdrawn from sales by game makers Nickelodeon and Spin Master after a controversy over the game's content, which included questions about nudity. Who wrote these questions? Despite her toxic brand, literally, Jojo Siwa remained extremely popular with young people and their mothers. Then, her handlers decided to take her brand in an entirely new direction. Siwa flooded her fans with rain <laughs> everything, combined with the one-eye sign. The message is, she's now being used to push an agenda. Siwa came out on social media in January 2021 as part of the LGBT community. When a fan asked what her label was, Siwa stated that she does not label her sexuality, as she doesn't really know this answer. If she's not even sure of who she's attracted to, why is her sexual orientation being aggressively publicized to children? The sad answer is that, once again, her brand was being used by exploitative handlers who turned her into an agent of indoctrination. Siwa turned her trademark colorful image into a way of telling children that she has sex with women. Some might ask, what is wrong with Jojo Siwa being... Well, personally, I could not possibly care less about Jojo Siwa's sexual orientation. However, it was not about her being happy in her personal life. It was a purposeful rebranding effort carried out in the most cynical way possible. In other words, none of this is sincere. It is all calculated from above and is highly performative. For instance, Jojo claimed that she wanted to trailblaze a new genre of music called 
gay pop, which managed to anger gay people. According to Jojo, Karma is the first song to grace the brand new gay pop genre. This historic moment was made even greater when she unveiled her new, edgy, super badass LT alter ego. With a terrible song and an even more terrible alter ego, everything was in place for the worst video of 2024. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you've learned something. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell so you won't miss any updates. Finally, watch until the end to avoid any misunderstandings. Karma was teased on social media with a post that included a rather symbolic picture. Jojo, or whoever handles her social media, posted a one-eye sign pic using light. So clever. The message is, whatever she was announcing was industry garbage. Then Karma came out and wow, it's painful to watch. To feel less alone in the process of writing this, I'll be featuring some of the most upvoted YouTube comments. Like those two ones. All right, I've delayed this moment long enough. On to the video. Karma begins with a shot of a tropical island. Above is a full moon we'll see throughout the video. In occult circles, magical rituals are most potent during a full moon. And, as we'll soon see, there's an occult element in the video. Yes, this occult element was filmed like a Nickelodeon sitcom, but it is still there. It is about ritualistic transformation, the age-old good girl gone bad narrative as seen in countless other videos described on this channel. Jojo is on a boat, and her face is very close to another girl's face. Most of the video consists of awkward PG-13 lesbian shots like this one. Then, Jojo gets freaky with another girl who's about four feet away from the first one. Riveting drama is unfolding people. Then, we witness a brilliant piece of interpretative dance which symbolizes Jojo being conflicted between two girls. Awe-inspiring stuff. As you can see, everyone on this boat is dressed in white. In occult circles, the color white represents the purity and the innocence of the initiate prior to the ritual. Jojo is about to undergo the classic transformative process seen in countless other videos. The song's lyrics also allude to the bad girl we are about to witness. I was a bad girl, I did some bad things. I swear I did it all for fun and it meant nothing. Then Jojo throws herself off the boat. Nobody seems to care. Jojo sings underwater for a while. Although this is all extremely corny, it is also extremely symbolic. After throwing herself off the boat, symbolic death, Jojo is underwater, a womb-like environment, before rebirth. Then the new Jojo emerges. Jojo emerges from the water dressed in black. She's now the bad girl. Jojo dances frenetically after crawling to the island because she's a bad girl now. For a reason nobody understands, Jojo aggressively thrusts her pelvic area on one of her love interests. It's an upsetting scene. While the viewers still wonder what's happening, Jojo re-emerges on the boat as if she were resurrected Jesus. The full moon behind her head looks like a halo. Jojo Siwa is an enlightened being now. Let's see what she does next. I'm sure it'll be awe-inspiring. Jojo brings the red-headed girl towards her while pushing away the other. To the ground. Yup, that other girl was just a hoe, so Jojo disposed of her. A great conclusion to a great, timeless story. I don't want to get involved in this in love triangle, but if I understood correctly, the red-headed girl got cheated on. Then she got aggressively humped on by an angry black-clad Jojo Siwa while stranded on a deserted island. I have some advice for this girl, which applies to the world. Stay away from this toxic industry product. Jojo Siwa managed the impossible. She united America in absolutely hating karma. However, in all seriousness, I actually feel bad for Jojo Siwa. Her entire career was spent under the control of exploitative people, starting with her own mother. Then, at one point, she was handed over to industry degenerates who decided to weaponize her popularity with children to indoctrinate them. She is not the mastermind behind any of this. She is bound by ironclad contracts, and she is doing as she's told. Jojo is definitely not the first child star to get the good girl gone bad treatment. 
However, in this particular case, it was done in such a cynical and calculated manner that its true intentions are transparent. There are no sincere sentiments and no artistry, only sick people trying to groom children using the idol they used to watch on TV. However, as seen in the YouTube comments posted earlier, they're not falling for it. And her career might flop as aggressively as she humped on this girl because of this. With that being said, the lyrics of her song might take on another meaning. Karma's a b I should have known better. If I had a wish, I would have never effed around. Now, it's time for me to hear from you. What are your thoughts on this video? If you found it interesting or informative, please consider giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends and family. Remember, the more people know about these important topics, the better. Before we wrap up, I want to extend a huge thank you to all the individuals who dedicated their time and energy to research and gather the information presented in this video. Their efforts are truly commendable and have shed light on important topics that affect us all. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to be notified when the next video is uploaded. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.